It was stated on the letter what happened during the Teheras Assembly. But aside from what has been mentioned from the account of Artemio Ricarte, Andres Bonifacio stated on the last part of his letter, Because of the tumult that occurred, the President of the Magdiwang announced that this was not an assembly of gentlemen because everything that they did had no evidence. Also, I discovered that even before the elections were made, some of those who were from Imus had secretly spread the word that it was not good for them to be under the leadership of someone from another province. It was for this reason that Captain Emilio Aguinaldo was elected president. When I heard about this, I told them that this assembly was the idea of those with evil intentions as this was the only thing that they wanted and they have deceived the people. I even added that, if they wish, I will point out one by one those who intended to this if they wanted to, the assembly answered that it was not necessary. I also told them that if the wishes of the assembly are not to be followed, I will not recognize those who were elected and if I will not recognize them, then my men will also not recognize them. Even General Ricarte, the one elected general, also stated that their assembly was the result of bad intention. The narrations that took place upon wouldn't have happened if it weren't for the hidden agenda the other members of the assembly have during the meeting. This hidden agenda were all revealed on the last account, Santiago Alvarez.